Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be starting Series 3 of Wasteland Mod Survival. So before we start, I just want to cover a few changes which have been added to the mods. I'm just going to get out of this car quickly. I just thought I'd get a car quickly and a little gun, you know, just to keep me nice and safe. Didn't really take too long, just found this inside the car which I was driving. So anyway, covering the changes which have been made, this is exclusive to the 404 game server. Other servers will have different uh, versions of a mod since each server hoster basically just makes whatever the hell they want for the mod. It isn't the way they works where you know it's one daisy version and that's that it's just yeah it's a bit weird but it's kind of cool because then you're gonna get a lot of uh, different versions of wasteland forming so you can see on the map right now we've added a lot of these general stores I don't know what they are I'm right in front of one and there's an enemy right there so I'm gonna go check that out quickly and see what that is and imagine it would just have some water some food that kind of stuff and you can also see we've added some more gun stores I believe I think there was three before and you can see there's which one is it? This one was already in. This one was already in. This one was already in. No, I'm pretty sure I'm just being stupid, but I thought there might be. But you can see there's a lot of general stores anyway, so. I'm just going to go straight ahead and see what's up. You may notice as well on the map that I'm green. You can see I'm actually a policeman. I'm Lewis a policeman with a G36C SD, which is a silence, so. I'm playing on independent, to independent today, although I said in Series 2 that independents are no different to the normal teams, they are different, they're independent, they're allowed to shoot anyone they want, so it's kind of cool, um, I'm not really sure how this is going to form, because obviously there's not going to be too much base building, there's not going to be any cooperating with other people unless I find someone who's friendly, which is impossible on Wasteland mod, maybe DayZ, but not this bloody mod, so, no, that's a bad thing, I mean, you know, it makes sense to shoot people. You get money, you always get something when you kill someone on this. Daisy, not so much. You know, if you kill even a fresh spawn on this, you're going to get $100 or so. So, it makes sense. You can see in the bottom right, by the way, we've also added a health bar, which is kind of cool. So now you can actually work out what health you're on. And, of course, get a medic to heal you if you want. And the final change, I believe, is we've made the, the tags on friends a bit clearer. So, like, the red and the blue above heads is now a bit more clear, which is, of course, a nice little change. Because it was a bit weird before. I ended up killing some friends because, for some reason, or maybe it's just me being blind, but I couldn't actually see the attack. So, there's a bunny there as well. Where'd the bunny go? There he is. <laughs> little bunny. Anyway, on we go. So, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Just tell me if you like me being independent. I might just make this a one-series thing because, you know, it's not going to be too much. Well, it's not going to be any teamwork, so... I'm not really sure what the hell I'm doing. And a final thing just to talk about in the intro before we get into the shit, essentially, where I shoot people and die and stuff, is I'm going to be changing the series format. Lots of people gave me feedback in Series 2, and most people seem to want me to just change the series format. So it starts when I want it to start and it ends when I want it to end. This won't be the same on Daisy. Daisy will still be the same, you know, when I die at the end of the series. But for Wasteland, it makes a lot more sense to do it that way. Because, you know, you're going to build a base, you're going to meet some friends, and then all of a sudden you die and that's that. I can't do anything more. But if I do it this way, then I've got a chance of getting some cool moments. But, of course, encountering some deaths on the way. So I'll get some cooler stuff, it'll just take a bit longer to get to that, if that makes any sense. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Like I said, it won't be affecting the way I'm doing DayZ series, but I think it's a good decision for this. And I'm just going to quickly go to the store. So the store is right in front of me over here. So I'm going to head over here quickly. Like I said, you can literally shoot anyone. So even people on Independent, I can't see any tags. So I could end up meeting someone from Independent. I'm not sure. When is an Independent in this area? I'm not sure if it says, yeah, like friendly players. Does that mean he's an Independent here? Because I could murder an Independent. If I wanted to. Independents don't tend to be friendly for sure because they don't have tags. You know, when you're red or blue, you can see the tags. But it's kind of hard to tell if you are on the same team. If you're independent because they don't have tags. So, okay, I'm just going to go in this shop quickly and see what's up. Hopefully there won't be anyone who wants to murder me here. Otherwise that could make this a bit awkward of a start. But the server has just for start, so there's not going to be any real basis other than the ones the map generates. So, it's going to be a bit awkward, but... I don't know. Wait, is this actually in the corner shop? Yeah, it is. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go to the corner shop quickly. No one on the hill. So where's the gun sh I mean, not the gun shop, man. The general store guy. Where the hell is everyone else? No one here? Hello. Oh, he's got a little till as well. That's cute. So this is pretty interesting. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, just like I thought. Just some... Uh, actually, that's pretty good, though. You've got the repair kits, the medical kits. So then... Um, it's not exclusive to the medics and engineers. You can now buy it. It just costs a lot of money, which is good because we will really need some more money sinks for the game. You end up getting way too much money if you play it for a decent amount of time. So that's good. Very good. I like that. I'm just going to quickly get in this car and go on my way. Let's see if there's anything inside it as well. No, nothing inside it. So this gun does kind of suck, but it's decent. We'll go with it. And I think for now, I'm just going to go towards... Do I want to go towards a gun shop? Yeah, I'm going to go towards a gun shop because unoccupied... 
And I could do with selling this gun and getting something better. So I'm just going to go head over to a gun shop quickly. And I don't know. Maybe on the way I might be able to get something and uh, get enough money for sniper. Like snipers don't cost too much. It depends on what sniper's in the store right now. But I'd imagine there should be something nice and cheap for little Lewis. Little policeman Lewis. So I'm going to head over there quickly. And I'll be back in a second. And I've already said I'll be back in a second. I just thought I need to think of places to raid. So the main places which people normally make bases is Devil's Castle up in the north. And that's a wall. And Green Mountain. I'm not very good at driving, apparently. So, yeah. Those are the main places which I'm going to be raiding. You know, expecting that people are going to be making a base there. And I'm actually going to take this SUV because SUVs are pimping. Uh, I don't know why I just said pimping. That's a weird thing to say, but. <laughs> oh, God, a car. Okay, that's okay. Just calm, Lewis. Stay calm. I just want to take this. Take this. Where's this guy? Oh, he's got a scope. That's dirty. So there's a car somewhere there. There it is. Oh god, it's got... It's towing a car. So I can't do anything about that from here, but... There's probably only one guy there. Can maybe shoot him, but it doesn't look like he's coming anywhere near me. In fact, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pursue him. Let's go see what happens if I pursue him. I'm curious. SUVs are pretty good off-road, so we're gonna go pursue this guy quickly. Or stalk him for a while. <laughs> Let's see how that ends up happening. And I don't know how my health went down to 92, I really don't understand, but I don't know. It's just been updated, there might still be some bugs. Right, let's follow this guy anyway, I don't know where he's going. Following someone in a black SUV, always a good thing. Doesn't make you look weird whatsoever. My people are talking to him, I think he might actually be independent looking at him. Let's see, VS35, that's not a guy over there, is it? No, it might be someone else. Looks like I'm going faster than him though. Looks like he's on the road now, I think. Yeah, he's on the road. It's alright, SUV's fast. We're gonna catch up to him, it's fine. Come on, SUV, let's go. Beep beep. Hope you didn't hear that. Pull over! Pull over! Okay. Didn't quite work as planned. So we're gonna take this guy down. He's refusing to pull over. Pull over, sir. Holy shit. This guy's not giving up. I just want to talk. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Got him. You refuse to pull over, and I'm the police. I'm just laying down the law. Look at this guy. Who does he think he is? If he's bloody M2. 249 saw, what a penis. Pretty nice weapon though, not gonna lie. Let's see, where's his dirty money? I want his dirty money. Unless he's used all his dirty money. Huh. Um. Okay. I can't find his bloody thing. Uh, let's see, so. T I think I'm done here. I mean, we didn't get any guns. Should I take this? I'm gonna take. No, I like this weapon. I'm gonna keep this weapon and hopefully get some more ammo when I go to the gun store. But I don't know, man. I was just asking him to pull over. I don't know what his problem is. So I'm just gonna head back up north and go buy the guns. Because that was the plan originally. Just, I don't know, I wanted a friend. An independent friend is possible. Like I said, it's just kind of hard because, you know, we're independent and whatnot. So I'm gonna head over to the gun shop quickly and hopefully... Yeah, there's no one there right now, so... I shall be fine. Just not have damage for SUV either because this SUV is very strong. In fact, I'm out of four of it. I think I should load his gun in my car and then bring the car over to the gun shop and then sell the weapons and then I'll have enough for a sniper rifle. So I'm going to go head back and get this guy's uh, MG because MGs are qu worth quite a lot. So I'm going to go sell that as well. Just for a little bit more dosh since I couldn't find his dosh on his body unless, like I said, he spent it all somehow. So I'm not really sure. The scene of crime. Hello. Right, I should probably bring us a bit closer to a bloody body so I don't need to drive for miles. Take this and drop it in here. There should be enough room, I'd imagine. Already got something in here anyway, but. 
That's another car in here. What the hell's all these trucks coming through? It's over this way. Might not be coming this way, let's see. It's probably on this road over here, going towards the gun shop. Definitely here, one over there though. Dirty man. Ooh, car. What's this guy doing? What are you doing, silly guy? Euro's coming over, is it? Euro's coming over. And there's card on my right as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I just got ran over, but I killed three people. That's another end. Oh my god. <sighs> At least I've got that advantage of um, this new series format. This way I can actually go somewhere else and be happy. So let's see, where the hell are we? Oh my god, that all seems like a complete waste of time now because I've just died. That's the reason I like doing series. It feels as if everything means something. But now those last three kills don't mean anything. Mean anything. But I guess, you know, um, we're rather quick and... Top notch. So I'm gonna continue being my good old policeman. I need to get to a gun shop and shit. And what the hell's my bicycle there? I do not know. Right, let's see. What is it? Oh, a Lee Enfield. Seriously, I don't know why, but Lee Enfield seems so puny. You know, with all these uh, automatic guns laying about in all the bloody cars. All of a sudden, I get that, and I'm not even happy with it now. Although normally in Daisy, I'd be happy with Lee Enfield. But nope. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna go to the gun shop. I did actually do a series. I tried to record series two just before. Well, before series two happened. And I actually went to this gun shop and murdered someone for DMR. And I ended up getting a... What was it? The sniper rifle, the Dragonov, which was really cool. So hopefully I should be able to go back here and repeat that. By the way, if people don't like the format, then you, you know, just keep on telling me you don't like it. I mean, people said we're okay with the new format. So just tell me and I'll change it. But hopefully it's fine. I mean, it was only five minutes, more or less, my uh, life, and then I got murdered. Although I did get three kills, so it's fine. It's a good uh, ratio, three to one, right? I mean, I did get run over by a car, which doesn't really count, does it? Nah, but I'm going to check these cars quickly anyway. Just in case there's something here. Should be something, since these cars, or all these spawns are fresh. Nothing at all. Great. Although this is more or less the life of an independent. Don't have anyone to rely on, hence the name Independent. You just have to get some weapons and shoot people. Which is interesting. Ooh, dirty. I don't know what this is, but oh god, it's an MG. That is hot. Look at this thing. I can imagine killing someone with this very easily. The MG I had before, like, I don't know what we've done with the health system, but I do know you're a lot weaker on this than you've ever been in the DZ. That's probably just normal armor health, to be honest, but it may have been changed now that it's got a health bar on its bottom right. I'm not really sure, so. It's a bit sad that I died before, really. I mean, literally, if I was a few inches to the right, I would have survived. Like, it was just the car that kind of clipped me at the end, I think. I don't think I got shot. I'm not really sure. Oh, and there's General Storm inside Electro as well. That's pretty cool. So now you've got a reason to go to the cities. The good old Electro and Sherno. Oh my god, another SUV. Oh, no, mind. It's been blown up. Oh, what's that on the floor? Dirty money. I've seen some dirty money. I hope there's no one here. There's a dead man and some dirty money on the floor. <laughs> I think this guy may have just um, accidentally rammed this thing and exploded. Oh god. <sighs> this this gun is even dirtier than the previous gun. I didn't think it was possible, but it is. Oh god, look at it. Oh god. That's just so hot. $937. The school teacher was loaded. So this was another industrial... Not an industrial guy. Jesus Christ. A bloody an independent and he got murdered. So I'm going to put this in my car. So I can hopefully bring it to sell it for some dosh. And then we're going to take the... Mark Zero. Mark 48 even. Mod Zero. Apparently I can't read. But I've now got, what, 1,100 DOSH. Which is pretty much enough to buy most weapons in the game. Unless you're buying an AS-50, you might have some problems there. But other than that, in fact, I don't know why the hell I'm going over here. It looks like Ouija's having a fun time as well. Ouija's killed about two people in the space of two minutes. So that's pretty good. 